Congratulations to everyone who's going to graduate this spring. And today I'm going to use X2 P2 CO2 laser machine to laser cut a special gift, which is the most trending product this year. Let's see what is that. Okay, wow. It's a graduation money holder to fortunate your or your children's future. And for this graduation money holder, apparently you can just put some cash into the holes or you can put some small jewelry as a gift on the surface. And you can also laser engrave your name on this graduation cap or maybe some beautiful quotes or best wishes on this side. And how to make it? Just follow me. Things you need to prepare. X2P2 laser machine, laptop, five millimeter thick plywood, three millimeter orange and black color acrylic, glue gun, head tassels, and of course some cash. Firstly, let's place this wood into X2P2 laser machine. And close it. And now let's move over to our software, X2 Creative Space. Okay, we already opened the file. So firstly, you wanna connect your device. It's already connected. And as you can see, there's three sheets down there, all wood and acrylic. So we're gonna laser cut and engrave on the wood first. And you wanna choose flat flat and refresh it. And next step, you wanna set the focus. So click icon here and move your mouse at anywhere on the surface. There you go. And there's three process you wanna do. Laser engrave, laser score, and the laser cut and they have different parameters. For example, here, all the sentences are laser engraving process. We're gonna run at 20% of power. The speed is 250 millimeters per second for only one pass and 160 lines per centimeters. And for this part is laser cutting process. So the power is 100% and we're gonna run 50 millimeters per second for only one pass. And for these numbers is laser scrolling. So 50% of power, 180 millimeters per second, and also for only one pass. You're probably wondering, what if I wanna cut through three millimeters per layout? Or if I wanna change the outline of this money holder? Or I wanna change the content, the name? How can I redesign them? Don't worry, I got you all covered. Let me show you how to do it. Okay, let's go to the first sheet. All the patterns are right here. So if you want to change the thickness of plywood, you need to change six slots. For example, right now we use five millimeters thickness. Let's say we want to change to three millimeters thickness of your plywood. We're going to change six slots here. The first one, second, third, fourth, fifth, and the sixth, this part, yes. Let's take this one as an example. We go to the size section and make sure you unlock this one because we are not changing the size in preparation, only the thickness. If you want to change to three, we just push through 2.8. Because if you really push through three, they could be a little bit loose because of the laser compensation. So every time just reduce the height a little bit. Slide them all. Make sure everything is right in the center. So we're gonna go to the align. We're gonna choose horizontal align center. Also, we're gonna go to vertical align center. There you go, now it's perfect. The same as others. But for this part, it's a little bit tricky. Let me show you how to do it. Let me just drag the outline to the side and insert a rectangle. Also, remember to unlock this one and push through three and drag this one to the bottom of this outline and zoom in and use your keyboard to move it to the top. Make sure two lines coincide and zoom out and make it bigger. Make sure it's cover all the outline and slide them all Go to the combine, choose the Unite at Overlap. You see, 
this part is gone. And drag this one back to the pattern. Yeah, just make sure it's perfect fit in. And next, I want to show you how to change the content or the name. So you see all the codes here. If you want to change it, just drag it out. And you can just click text. You can just write on everything you want, for example. Like this. And you can laser scoring, or you can choose laser engraving. And you can choose different size, and also the fonts. For example, when we want to choose the booster, there you go. And you can choose regular or bold. So for this font, there's no bold, but for others, for example, this one, you can choose bold or other options. Yes, I like the booster a lot. Cool. And you can choose the space, for example, two. That means the distance between two letters, okay? Let's go back to zero. And the leading is about the distance between the first line and the second line, okay? Or five, yeah, you see it's quite different. Let's go back to zero. And you can choose the left or middle or right line. Yes, oh, this is much beautiful. Yeah, that's it for the quotes for the, all the content. And one more thing, some people, someone maybe like to make more personalized. So you want to engrave your name or your children's name on the top of this graduation cap. So you can also add a text. For example, my name. <laughs> I mean, I graduated like nine years ago, but yeah. <laughs> There's an engrave. And I'm gonna choose, yeah, the best way as well. I make it a bit smaller and change the direction. Yeah, make it a bit smaller and put on a cap. We're gonna laser engrave acrylic for this cap. Yes, it's really beautiful. So Kai Ma, classes of 2023. Yeah, it's more personalized and customized. So this is for the content or name changing. And if you don't like the outline of this pattern, you wanna change it to another pattern, another outline. Let me show you how to do it. Just download any picture you want from the internet and uh, let's open the new sheet first. And we download this one. It's a peace sign. Yeah. We're gonna make the outline out of it. So firstly, select it, and you can just make the sharpness to full. And you can change the gray scale as well. Yeah, make it sure full as well. And we're gonna add it. So we're gonna choose the magic wand. Click here, also click the center. There you go, you'll see the outline here. If you accidentally did it wrong, you can just use eraser to erase the negative part, okay? So everything's ready, and let's save it. There you go. And because for the laser cutting, we need to add outline for this pattern, so we choose the outline. Make sure you don't click here because this is the inner outline. We don't want to cut through the inner one. We want to cut through the outline. Okay. You see the blue light? That's the outline for this pattern. And you can change the offset distance, for example, five. Yeah, you see it's very fake. Or you can just put it like zero or one. Let's just do two. Yeah, cool, and okay. And then drag it, great. And let's copy this one to the first sheet. Okay. So we're gonna change this outline. So we can just put all the content, the name or the numbers inside. But remember this part because we're gonna insert this part of wood to the other piece of the wood, okay? So we're gonna keep this one, which is like five millimeters thickness or any thickness you want. So how to do it? Because this one, there's no that part, all right? So we're gonna simply copy this one and drag here. Yeah, just make sure these two outlines coincide together. You can just use keyboard to move it a little bit. It's much easier than the mouse. Great. And for this part, you need to put through three because we're gonna insert 
this piece of wood to another piece of wood. So it's better to set up a little bit larger or longer number. Great. And next step, we're gonna set them all. And we're gonna click the combine. We're gonna choose the unite. There you go, you see? It's already together. All right. So you can just change the outline here. Too small maybe, just make it a little bit bigger. Yeah, I mean something like this. I can change every single pattern inside of this outline. So yeah, that's it. Please leave your comment down below because this time we're gonna choose three lucky persons to give free materials. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel because we have so many live tutorials for you. So everything's ready. And we hit the process. And one more time. And push the button on P2. Let's go. After the wood cutting, next we're gonna laser cut acrylic. So we're gonna choose the black color and the orange color. Let's put them together. All right, let's go back to our software. And next, let's switch to the acrylic sheet. We're also gonna laser cut acrylic and also laser engrave on acrylic. So for 2023, we're gonna laser cut. You see the parameter is 100% of power and 15 millimeters per second for the speed. And for the laser engraving process, it's on this lattice. So engraving power is 20% and 200 millimeters per second for the speed and 160 lines per centimeters. All right, let's refresh it. There you go. Okay, let's click the icon here. Cool. And we're gonna choose slap flat as well. So everything's ready. Let's hit the process and click one more time. Let's go. All right, everything's ready. We already finished laser cutting and engraving process. So right now, let's just assemble this amazing graduation money holder. Dun 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 dun. This amazing graduation money holder is done. If you like it, please leave your comment down below. We're gonna choose three lucky person to win the free of materials. And please let us know, do you have any suggestions or something you wanna learn how to use our software or how to use our laser machines? For example, this X2P2, the strongest smart desktop CO2 laser machine. So please give us your suggestion. We want to make these tutorials much better. And subscribe to our YouTube channel. See you next time.